All right, everybody, it's Brian and Willie with Be Known Advertising. We are going to show you guys a little walkthrough today uh, on how to set up a Facebook ad. We're going to put it towards a buyer focus, and we're going to do a couple little tricky things uh, as far as uploading custom audience uh, and also plugging in some special ad audiences, which is Facebook's new lookalike for special ad category. So some of you guys know, Facebook has actually moved into, uh, we've gotten rid of a lot of, of things that you can target or not target with housing ads or educational ads uh, and also credit ads. So anytime you go in, you create, we click that little green create button, populates here, and get go to start one of these ads, we have to select special ad category. All right, so we say housing, this way Facebook actually lets the ad go through without denying it. If we don't do this, Facebook will deactivate your account, will shut it down. That is a no-no. We don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and select what type of ad we're going to create. And this is going to be a lead generation campaign. So we're going to name this Four Corners Fire Ad Test One. Brand new client, just brought them on board. So this is going to be our first test on a buyer ad. So we're gonna hit continue. I always copy the name of that first page just so that I can make my ad set and my pages the, the same, right? I want the information to all match all the way throughout. And this is not the correct page. So for guys like us, if you manage multiple pages and work with a lot of different clients, you always wanna make sure that you're selecting the correct page so that you're not advertising for the wrong person. All right, so it's gonna be under ours because we have the partnership. So now this is where we go ahead and we search for those custom audiences that we added in. So we added a custom list and then we created these special ad audiences, which is a lookalike. Facebook gave lookalikes back to real estate, which is sweet. So it's always gonna give us a weird estimated number on any type of special audience that we upload. Um, because it's not actually going to give us just based off of the list that we added in how many how many people are going to be within that audience or what we're going to see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and find our location that we want to target on the map here. So it's right down over here. Somewhere over here. And we're right in here. <laughs> Let's see if we can just type in four corners. There we go, perfect. So 15 mile radius, I'm actually gonna bump this out to 20 just so that we can get a little bit more people in the mix there. So now we've got eight, 890 to 2.6 thousand people for our daily reach, All right? So now we're gonna go down and we're gonna add in some special uh, targeting details, right? So we want to make sure that we've got Zillow in there. It's going to be anybody that's got the interest in Zillow. We're going to throw in Trulia, homes.com, realtor.com. We'll go ahead and click down on the suggestions and we're going to go house hunting, first time home buyer, starter home, pre-qualification lending, single family detached home, Real estate investing is good as well. Luxury real estate, that way we can captivate some of the higher end if it's there. Um, we'll go ahead down and we'll grab for sale by owner, property finder, and we're gonna add in residential area, first time home buyer grant, that's always a good one. And let's grab credit karma and credit sesame. So that's, that's our audience that we're gonna go off of right out of the gate, All right? So we're gonna have 875 to 2.5, 875 to 2.5 thousand for a reach daily, but we're gonna drop this down to $7.50. So that's gonna drastically change our daily reach. So that's okay. We're gonna hit continue and move on to the next page. Now there's a couple of things actually that you guys can do right here um, to improve the quality 
of your ad, right? So one of the things that I would actually do here in this section is I like to edit my placements. Facebook says that they're gonna give you and deliver ads in those placements, and if you're not seeing results, they're gonna take them out. And they always say that it's best to do all of the placements. Uh, trust me, I've been on the phone with them a million times, um, but it's just not the case. So Marketplace is good, Instagram feed, Facebook feed, that's all good, but we're gonna get rid of Explore here because this is gonna be just wasted dollars and impressions. Stories, I have had leads come in off of Stories, but they usually run a little bit higher cost. So we're gonna eliminate those, we're gonna eliminate in stream, and we're gonna eliminate in articles as well. I've never clicked on an ad in an article. I don't know about you guys, but I've just never done it. So it's always something that I've just removed and pulled out of the mix. All right, so our impressions, our reach daily is still gonna be the same. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. This screen, we're just gonna double click here and paste in. So we've got the same name all the way through. Make sure that you select your Instagram account. And so this is where it, it really kind of boils down to what type of ads you wanna set up. Are you running a video? If you're running a video, single image video right here, this is gonna be a really good spot for you to go ahead and set that video up so uh, that it's, it's the full size of your ad, right? But we're actually gonna do a carousel. We want this ad to be much more interactive um, with those potential first time home buyers, those potential buyers that are out there searching. We want that to be interactive. But let me show you a trick. If we start out with single image and we go to upload some images, right? I'm not gonna use images that are already on the account. I just went and grabbed images for this particular client. If you do it from a single image, you can actually grab multiple photos at once upload them all into Facebook, and then you don't have to wait for each and every single one of them to upload as you're doing the carousel. So I'm gonna click upload. We are going to go to our desktop, and we're gonna find Manny Barrios, which is the client, and we're just gonna upload all these. I just, uh, <clears throat> there, there we go. go. And hit open. Oh, so it's not letting me do that. Let's try this again. So it doesn't like screenshot one. Doesn't like screenshot two. Okay, so I think we just had a little error happen. Yeah. Usually this makes life a heck of a lot easier, but I guess today it's going to be difficult for us. Um, totally fine. Wouldn't expect anything less when you're trying to when you're trying to do a video on how to, right? <laughs> All right, so, oh, we're missing the actual file now. Maybe go into the, uh, go into the recycling bin. That copy, when, when you accidentally selected them, it might have gotten rid of them. Negative. Very weird. That file just done disappeared. Yeah. Very strange. Well, anyways, let's just go ahead and uh, go a new folder. And we're gonna go back and grab these images again, just so I can show you how we did it. How's that? So, here we go. We're grabbing our clients' past listings that they've, homes that they've sold. And the reason that we're doing that is because it's going to give you, agents have the rights to these. So these are all images that our client has the rights to because it's properties that he's previously sold and worked with. We're also gonna grab, grab images of current listings as well, just so that we have the best of both worlds. So that was this property, right? So we're gonna go and grab this one. 
Wait for that to fully load. Nice and pretty, print screen. Now we've got to make sure that these are over 600 pixels both ways. So 720 by 910, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and save, add that photo in. Otherwise, you can't upload them, correct? Otherwise, you can't upload it into Facebook. Facebook won't let you upload it. That is correct, Willie. Really. So we're going to wait for this one to load. Now that it's nice and pretty and fresh, we're going to go ahead and go in and just do a screenshot, copy. If you try to download the images direct from Zillow, it downloads it as a, a web page file, so you can't actually upload the image into Facebook. Um, Zillow has done that so that you can't go in and pull data or pull pictures or images like that from them. Even though it's your listing as an agent, Zillow feels that they have a right to keep that file from you or from anybody else that wants to try to download it. So, and so they know. Uh the people that are watching, what program are you using right now to get those screenshots? So I'm using LightShot. Uh, I really like LightShot because it, uh, when you're doing screenshots, you actually have some additional tools that you can use on here. So if there's anything in a screenshot that you want to highlight or if you want to add text or if you want to make boxes or point things out with an arrow, you can grab that there. Oh, whoops, and I don't want to copy that. I want to save it. All right, so now we've got all of our photos back. Okay, now we're just gonna hop into Ads Manager. We're gonna go upload and we're gonna try this one more time. All right, so we're gonna go desktop. We're gonna scroll down to this new Manny Barrios and we're gonna copy all these and open. There we go, it works the right way. So now it uploads all those images all in one fair shot and gets them into the system. So once you move over to a carousel, you don't have to wait for each image, image to load and save. Sometimes that takes a while and it can be time consuming, just like how that little glitch that we just had was time consuming and took a while. Sometimes shortcuts aren't always shortcuts. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select four images for this ad. I found that if you run four to six images on one of these carousels, um, for a buyer ad, you get really solid response. Once you go beyond six, um, it actually decreases your likelihood of getting somebody to submit their info and fill it out. Uh, because I, I believe it's just because there's too many options, too many things for you to look at. And so the mind starts to wander. So we're going to go ahead and get these added into here. just listed homes. Now this home isn't just listed, but it's an image of a home that our agent owns the rights to. And that's why it's okay to go ahead and throw this kind of a headline in there, see just listed homes. If, if they didn't own the rights to these images, um, then it wouldn't be okay. Um, and it, it just doesn't, it, it's not an issue. As long as you own the rights to the, to the images, once they fill out their form and all their information, we're gonna point them directly to the site where there are just listed homes. So it's gonna make life easy. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab some very basic ad copy. Uh, do you wanna learn how to purchase a new home with little to nothing down? My goal is to assist my clients in finding their dream home. Simply click below and fill out your information. I'm happy to guide you along the way. Boom, see so just listed homes. Now down here, we can see we've already got a lead form, plenty of lead forms that are created, but I wanna make everything uniform. And there's a couple of things that I would do that are different from these lead forms. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate because it's already going to have information like the privacy policy here. If not, you wanna make sure that you go to your website and pull the privacy policy so that you can put it into the ad. If you don't put a privacy policy in here, you aren't going to, to get as good of proof, or you aren't gonna be able to get it live. So we're gonna go into settings. One thing that we can see here is that this was restricted. I don't like having a restricted form. The crazy thing is, is if you have the form as restricted, nobody can share the ad. So say for example, I see something, I see a home that really catches my eye, and I wanna share that with my spouse. I can't do that if your ad and your uh, form 
is set as restricted. So we're going to hit open. We're going to open that form up. Now we're going to make that uniform and all the same name as the ad. And I'm going to show you why in the next video when we go through the Zapier setup and then when we go through the KB Core setup for this particular ad. So Four Corners Buyer Ad Test 1. Now we're going to go back to content. And in content, we're going to get rid of the intro. I don't like the intros. I want to go straight into questions. I want to start asking information and I want to find out what they're looking for. Now, the CRM KV Core prefers it if you have first name, last name over full name. So we're going to make sure that we grab that info first name and last name. All right now, I'm going to move the name up to the top. And phone number, email can be in whichever order you want, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to add in some additional questions, and I want these to be multiple choice. So it's a drop down and it's going to be easy for the consumers or the home shoppers to look at how and I like to I like to pose beds and baths as one question. The more drop down questions that you have on the lead form, the less uh, your conversion is going to be. So I found two questions is about the perfect amount. It doesn't really affect your uh, lead conversion. Once you hit three or four questions, it's way too many your lead conversion drops massively. How many beds slash baths are you looking for in your new home? Answers, one bed, one bath, and all you have to do is hit enter once you've entered those in. Two beds, One bath, all right, two beds, two baths, three beds, two baths, oops. All right, so that's plenty. Now we're gonna go and we're going to ask what their desired price range is. Nope, we don't want short answer. So we're gonna go here, multiple choice. What is your desired price range? And I'm gonna change that from being capital. All right, so we're going to, this client wants only list or only information over 200,000, right? So you will have people that will just click on the lowest number possible that want a $150,000 home. That's going to happen. But this can at least kind of try to deter some of those lower ends from filling out their information. So 250K through 300K. And this market, 350K plus. That's pretty much in this particular area what we're looking at. All right, so we've got the privacy policy, now the thank you screen, All right? So this button, we want this to say, view the newest listings. And we'll be sending your list right over it, nope. <clears throat> thank you for reaching out to us. Purchasing a home with little to nothing down. Please click below to view the newest listings. All right, now we're going to hop over to his website. So we've got this and all we're going to do is search really fast. So we're gonna search. And we're gonna get this really long convoluted here. So let's just see what happens. We just copy this. Advanced. So we're still gonna get our search, but it's gonna be a much shorter URL. So it's just a little cleaner. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that in place there. And how did you get 
So I just went into, so what we did is we went and we searched and we had this very, very long URL. Here, I'll show you. Once you click search, you're gonna get a very, very long URL as soon as it decides to load. So what I did was I just took the advanced, copied all the way back, and then pasted it directly in here. Because the gotcha. advanced is going to give us the search. It's gonna pull all the information. It just doesn't have all that tagging data that shows that you went from the initial page of the site, from the home page, click the search. That additional portion in that URL is designed to track you from A to Z. And so we're tracking these people from Facebook over. So it's always good to just make sure that you, you eliminate the tracking data in there. So we're gonna go ahead and click finish. This is set up, this is ready to rock and roll. And we're gonna collect a little bit more information than what this client's used to. So this is what the form's going to look like. So first name, last name, email, phone number. All of this data, as long as that person's filled out a form one time, is gonna pre-fill and preload. But they have to make their selections down here before they can move forward, right? So that's very, very key. And this really weeds out some of those folks that might potentially be a looky-loo or just submitting their information. This, this, if, if somebody's gonna fill out the number of beds and number of baths they're looking for in a home and the price point that they wanna be within, that gives you a really solid idea that that could potentially be a very high-end lead. Now, the button itself for this depends on really what you wanna do. So you can have this button be sign up. I think if you're running an ad for a list, to, to gain a list or to, to get more information, anything like that, sign up is good. But I found that learn more is a much less invasive button to run. So they're gonna have options to be able to scroll through and look at different properties. They're gonna be able to click learn more and, and get their info. Now we scroll down to the bottom. We've got everything set up, pixels on, uh, tracking URL. Let's go ahead and throw this in. Boom. And then we're gonna hit confirm. So we just wanna track everything that happens from A to Z with this. So this is gonna go ahead and go through. And there you have it. It's in draft, it's gonna be in review form here in just a moment. And that ad will be live typically within the hour. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can always go down to the bottom of the page and schedule an appointment with us. We'd be more than happy to chat with you. If you have questions or if you'd like to check out a done for you option where we actually set up, build those ads for you, get them rocking and rolling and live. We constantly monitor everything, adjust it and fine tune it so that you're getting the best results possible. And we also make sure that we get the back end of your KB Core platform set up so that you guys have all that follow up on autopilot. But we can save the rest of that for another webinar. We'll have that back in just a couple of minutes and you can take a look at it on our site. Brian and Willie signing off with Vino Advertising.